how do we go from this paper thin bit of carbon fiber all the way through the process to a fully foiling F50 racing machine? Brilliant at the bottom who are going to be on the inside. And look at the speeds. Carbon fiber. It's the secret behind speed and strength in Formula One, cycling, aerospace, and GP. But what exactly is carbon fiber? And where does it come from? Carbon fibre is composed of carbon atoms, arranged in a crystalline structure, often resembling graphite with layers of repeated, hexagonally arranged carbon atoms. Before you can lay carbon fibre, often pre-impregnated with resin, known as pre-preg, you need a mould for the shape you're making. The composite team work to a drawing with a technical specification, with information like how many layers, what type of carbon fibre to use, and how to lay it at different angles for particular strength. This is crucial, as not only does every part need to be the same, but it needs to be built to the engineer's specification for performance and safety. This is your instruction manual. So what we go from that floppy bit of carbon, how does that actually turn into the solid piece that you're trying to make? So this is just the first skin, which is done here. We laminate all of these with your orientations and material. Yeah. We then bag it up for, fight for a cure. It goes taken to the oven and cured. So you're going to lay up how many layers here? So these layers here, so you've got 11 layers in total. Well, okay, this is layer one. This is layer two I'm on two. now. Okay, yeah. right, so that's layer one, that, that yeah. fate, and then and you cross the weeks. Yes, so all the different orientations are here, and yeah. then these are just reinforced. The last six plies are just reinforcements. Yeah, okay. So if you look at these measurements that I've done here, yeah. okay. they're where the reinforcement patches sit. Right, okay. Um, once this skin's cured, it then comes out, we remove the peel ply, yeah. and then the glue film and the 50 kilograms yeah. uh, aluminium gets put in. The cor is, it, is it curing now? Because whenever I do anything with carbon, I'm panicking about, I've put my epoxy on wow. and I'm this like... Is this is pre-preg, so right, epoxy okay. resin, obviously you've got time for it to cure off, yes, but this yes. is pre-preg, this won't cure until it's put in an oven or a clay. Okay, so you, you're going to lay it up here yeah. and then you're going to move it somewhere. Yes, it'll be bagged up and put into the oven to cure, right. and then it'll come out and it'll be solid. And how long is it going to take to get, without me talking to you, and completely ruining your day? I've got until the end of today to get this in the oven, so... <laughs> <laughs> you a little bit. Okay, fair enough. So yeah. lay all that down. Yeah. On our different angles. Mm -hmm. And how do you, you, you just cut them by hand? Yes, all cut by hand. I cut most of it yesterday. I've still got a bit to cut today. Oh, okay. So yeah, let me pull that around for. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Well, it seems fairly accurate. It's only we always hear Tom saying to be whinging that everything's not quite the same. It's <laughs> not fair on him. So I just wanted to check in. Tom, it is all the same, mate. <laughs> The next stage is to seal a vacuum bag around the structure. This sucks the air out of the layers to consolidate the carbon fibre. Hey, Kieran. How you doing? Look good, mate. I just got sent over by Mickey because he said after we've just been doing the phase of laying up parts of things, we'd then come over here and this was the next section involving a bit of vacuum bagging and stuff like that. So what, what is it that you're up to? So right now we're laying our pre preg right now. Just doing some um, prior to pre preg On our 96 ply so far. So once we do this, we debulk it to get all the air out, all the bubbles out. Get so it. What, what, get all the bubbles out. What do you mean by that? Like, just basically cons oh. consolidate it. Basically, just like get all the wrinkles out, make sure it's perfect, and then okay. we'll be ready to put on the next layers. Okay. So more layers are going to go in here. More layers, definitely. Okay. And then we're going to what? This is coming into it, is it? Yeah. So what's that going to do? This, this is a uh, perforated film, so it doesn't. It allows the air to go through yep. and nothing sticks to it as well. Yep. And then this is um, a mesh, which allows the air to flow through it. Yep. And this is just a bag to keep it down, vacuum okay. it down basically. And then we vacuum it down. What's the, what's, why do we need to do that? It takes a replace of like, like you know, a steel roller. Okay. So right. it's, it's stronger, it's more pressure. Ah, okay, so yeah, it's just going to suck it down suck into it right the mold down. and vacuum make pressure. sure it's the exact shape we want. Yeah, you okay. Make sure everything is flat, smooth. Okay. So right. there's no voids underneath it, so there's no gaps in between the layers of carbon. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's just pulling it all together pulling so that we know that it's going to be exactly the same shape, yeah. exactly the same strength. Yes, exactly. And there's, and there's no voids in it that can then break. That's the end goal. Right. Then, it will, then it will get NDT'd. They'll come and scan it to make sure it's nothing. Okay, so NDT is a scanner. Yeah. Right, okay. the, the guy will come and make sure there's no pieces of like material underneath the carbon. Okay. They can see yeah, it all yeah, in, yeah, it, in yeah, a scan yeah, yeah, yeah. and make sure there's no voids and stuff as well. Right, okay. So, and then they'll either say it's good or not good. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> So the next stage is the oven? Yeah, basically. So where do I find that? That's that big building over there to the left. Okay, Yeah. perfect, cool. Thank you, mate. Cheers, mate. Take Thank care. You. 
OK, well, I've made it across the factory floor. This is where Kieran sent me. This is the oven. Absolutely huge it is over here. We can see the parts are in there. They're going to turn on the fans, heat this thing up. Too hot for me. I'm not willing to get in there. But what we will do is go across the factory floor and find the finished product. The last step in the process is the fit out and finishing of the product. Take the hull, for example. Further strengthening of certain areas that need to be reinforced to house different crew and parts of the F-50. We made it across, come across Francis. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Uh, I've just come across from the oven. We're sort of trying to follow the journey of all the parts here. So yeah. what's going to happen next? So at this stage, it's had all its fit out done. So the cockpit floor has been put in, all the bulkheads we put in, and the wet box has had all its work done, ready for the foil case. Next step after this is for the decks for to arrive, and then we bond the decks on top, so that it becomes a whole hull. OK, so this is the foil box. This is where the foil is going to go down. So what are you doing right down in here, then? So down in here, we're just reinforcing a part. Um, that's where the yule ball sits, which is the part that the foil case is mounted onto. OK. So the shelf has been stuck in, and then yeah. we're laminating around it. It's kind of reinforced. OK, so do you put in any extra layers for, like, for Nikolai Sehested and the Danish team? Is that a thing, or is it...? OK, right, fair enough. But this, so what we've got going on here, that's a vacuum bag, yeah? So yep. that's just sucking it on super tight? Yeah, exactly. So it's sucking on super tight and then you're kind of drawing some of the resin out as it goes. So those bits I can see there, that's new. Yep. So that's still yet to cure, I yep. guess. And this bit's out of the oven. Is that now finished? So it's pretty much there. All it needs now is a good sand up and then we'll concrete seal it, which is all that part in the hull. So here's how it's... OK, shiny. so this bit here. Yeah. So concrete seal. Yeah. That sounds heavy. It's no, it's like, <laughs> it's just like a really weird paint, basically. It's okay. quite thin, you just rub it on, and then it protects the carbon. OK, so no water will get out of it? Yeah, exactly. Right, okay. Kind of seals it. All right, fair enough. And then once you've done that, then we're going to put the top on it, yep. and it's good to go. Pretty much, we need to do some more fit-outs, so all the little details in the cockpit, like the pedestal and like okay. the steering wheel mounts, all those kind of yeah, things, yeah. will go in once the deck is on, and that's kind of the finishing touch. And are you going to follow that the whole way, or do you, is this, are you specialising in just this area? Um, I'm kind of jumping on whatever I can get my hands on, to be honest, and just kind of learn as much as I can. OK, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to get the box done. Is, has this got to go back in the oven? Uh, no. So once it's gone off, it'll all be fine, and then the next part will go in, and that will be back down. OK, and when, then what stage do we put the top on it? When do we put the decks on? So the decks are arriving tomorrow and in a couple of weeks' time. So it'll be pretty much as soon as these are finished, which only a few more things need to be done, so maybe another day or two, two's work, the decks will go on and then we'll start doing that stuff. OK, yeah. so the deck goes on and it starts to look like an F50? Yeah, exactly. OK, perfect. Thank you very much for your time. That's all right. Thanks. OK, well, we've been through the cutting process. We've then laid it all up. We've proofed it. We've had it scanned to check there's no faults in it. It's been in the oven over there, cooked. It's nice and solid. It's had those final touches we've seen. And now from a carbon perspective, it's all finished here. We're ready to go. Doesn't look the prettiest just yet. We're going to put the electronics in, the hydraulics, get the branding on for which other lucky team will take this boat. But yeah, we've followed the carbon on its journey. From that flexy little bit of carbon, we've now got a solid F50.